They are often incorrectly described as flying rodents, but the reputation of bats alongside pets like mice and rats may in part be due to their ability to spread disease. Now researchers have discovered for the first time how bats are able to carry some of the most deadly diseases on the planet yet remain unaffected by them. They found, unlike humans, bats have an overactive immune systems which are switched on all the time rather than just in response to an infection, like in humans. Bats are the natural hosts for more than 100 viruses, many of which are lethal in humans. They were recently discovered to be the source of the deadly Ebola virus while they have also been linked to other illnesses like Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome and the Hendra virus. But exactly how the animals manage to carry these diseases without apparently becoming ill themselves has baffled scientists. In the new study, researchers discovered the creatures actually have lower numbers of a group of signaling proteins called interferons, which play a key role in the immune system, than humans. Yet bats also continually express one of these interferons, giving them a heightened innate immune response even when they are not infected. It is this that is thought to suppress viruses when they are infected, keeping the animals from getting ill. In other mammals, having such a constant immune response would cause damage to tissue and lead to severe autoimmune diseases like arthritis. Dr. Michelle Baker, a bat immunologist at the Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organization in Australia, said, unlike people and mice, who activate their immune systems only in response to infection, the bat's interferon alpha is constantly switched on acting as a 24 7 front-line defense against diseases. In other mammalian species, having the immune response constantly switched on is dangerous, for example it's toxic to tissue and cells, whereas the bat immune system operates in harmony. A small species of bat known as the Angolan free-tailed bat was recently traced as the source of the recent Ebola epidemic in West Africa. It is thought that bats roosting in a tree near a village in Guinea, called Milyandu, may have passed the strain of the virus responsible to children playing nearby. Large reservoirs of a virus responsible for the severe acute respiratory syndrome, which caused 774 deaths around the world in 2012 to 2013, was found in Chinese horseshoe bats. MERS and the Hendra virus, which is lethal to horses but can also be deadly to humans, were also traced to bats. Dr. Baker and her team, whose findings are published in the journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, examined the genes and immune systems of the Australian black flying fox, a bat that has been linked to the Hendra virus. She said their findings could now lead to new ways to protect humans from diseases. Whenever our body encounters a foreign organism, like bacteria or a virus, a complicated set of immune responses are set in motion, one of which is the defense mechanism known as innate immunity, said Dr. Baker. We focused on the innate immunity of bats, in particular the role of interferons, which are integral for innate immune responses in mammals, to understand what's special about how bats respond to invading viruses. Interestingly we have shown that bats only have three interferons which is only a fraction, about a quarter, of the number of interferons we find in people. This is surprising given bats have this unique ability to control viral infections that are lethal in people and yet they can do this with a lower number of interferons. If we can redirect other species immune responses to behave in a similar manner to that of bats, then the high death rate associated with diseases, such as Ebola, could be a thing of the past.